This guide will show you how to create a handheld Linux terminal using a Raspberry Pi 2, a bunch of off-the-shelf parts and simple hand tools. This is the second iteration of the terminal and has lots of new features including a bigger touchscreen, double the battery capacity, accessible ethernet and audio video out. There are also tweaks to how the keyboard works as well as new multitasking stuff in the software. Go to the Adafruit site and download the custom Raspbian image for the 3.5 Pi TFT, then follow the instructions for how to put it on your microSD card. Once you've got the screen booting, attach an Ethernet cable and keyboard to the Pi. We're going to install the i3 window manager. Open up a terminal window, type the following, then press enter. Now we can change the session manager. Type the following, press enter, and then change the option to open box. And that's it. Now when you use StarTex, you can right click to choose the i3 window manager. The first thing to do is remove some components from the Raspberry Pi board to make it as thin as possible. This includes the two USB sockets, Ethernet plug, GPIO pins, the two camera display connectors, the composite audio video jack, the HDMI port. Not everything is easy to desolder from the board and I made good use of the mini hacksaw blade and cutters too. Just be careful not to damage components or scratch the board and you'll be fine. Desolder the pins from the Pi TFT board. Cut and prep a bunch of wires and create extensions for the USB, Ethernet and audio video ports. I modified the keyboard allowing it to be powered by the Pi instead of its own battery. I just added a 5 volt to 3.3 volt step down regulator to the battery contacts and I also added a button that lets you toggle the backlight on and off. Luckily the 1000 mAh battery I wanted to use fits exactly in the same space. Now we need to prepare the case. Again this is pretty straightforward but it takes quite a bit of time. I measured and cut the top and bottom halves of the case mostly with a hacksaw blade and then finished it with plastic sheeting and vinyl tape. I added the piano hinge at the back and drilled a few holes for the wires. I also glued on some rubber nubs to stop the screen overextending. To reduce the height of the power boost, cut off the top of the JST battery connector. While you're at it, you can add a power switch to the voltage, enable and ground pins. As well as that, add a custom micro USB plug. Place everything in the case and feed the wires between the bottom and top halves. Now you can solder everything together. I made sure that the two battery wires went through different holes to minimise the risk of shorting if they ever break in the future. Close up the case, cross your fingers and power up the computer. You now have a handheld Linux terminal that fits in your back pocket. The i3 window manager coupled with the touchscreen really helps free up space for multitasking and it can be transformed easily into a full Linux system when plugged into an external monitor. Click the annotation on the left to be taken to a full write-up including all relevant links mentioned here or click the annotation on the right to see an overview video showcasing what this little computer is capable of. Thanks for watching.